Welcome back to Super Mega Baseball 3. In this episode, we're going to be taking on the Mighty Cattle with Landon Gonzalez starting in week 13. Last episode, we lost to the Tappers 5-6. to six. They came back on us. We put up a good fight in the first half of that game, but they just played better than us overall. In our sim games, though, we beat the Spots twice. They are first place in our division. We beat them 10-8 and eight, and then 11-7, 11 and 11-2-7 seven, 11 seven in weeks 11 and 12. So that should help us with the standings here later on in the season. Let's go ahead and get into this game in week 13, though. Jackie Slam. And that's strike one. That's a good pitch. 1-1, one, one, batting 370 on the season so far. 1-2. Not a swing in the books yet. Swing on that one, and it dribbles right to the shortstop. Out number one. Steve Lumber, who got a plus eight power boost in between our last game and this one on just straight development, so we like to see that in effect here. Want to see him have one clear the fence. 3-1, he's locked in, and that's a walk. So a runner on first with one out here. Holding Ace Vito, locked in again, batting 375. Oh, we I got that one. That was a good one for us. Poor timing, but Steve Lumber is safe at second. 0-2 count here. They're worried about the steal all of a sudden from him stealing to third, but not him stealing to second. I don't really understand that. A little off on the timing, fouled off. Popped up, and this one will drop in. Oh no. That's a that's a rust. That's a rust thing. I hit the wrong button. I hit L1. I swear, I only play this game when I'm recording, and I hit the wrong button. I hit L1, and then I should have just hit circle to go back. I wanted Holden Ace to get it to go back. Either way here, Raylan McGriddle's going to pop this one up. Steve Lumber will tag from third. Looks like he has the speed here, and is safe. Phantom's up 1-0. There we go. Got my air out of the way. Pitch out. Scared of... Scared of the steal. Two straight pitch outs. Didn't really feel like going anywhere. That's 1 1. 1 2. And that is weekly hit. And out number three. Phantom's up 1 0 here. Landing Gonzalez now. Getting another start from us. And that is ripped. Holden, Ace Vito is going to be catching this one off the wall at the track. And the Mighty Cat will start off with a double here. A lot of speed at second. I feel like I could pitch out just about every pitch. And still never get him. I don't. I don't think it ever works for me. So that has popped up. Bronson Knight is there though. It's right behind second, so he's not going anywhere. Hundred miles an hour for Landon Gonzalez. Still watching this pitch out. Wanna. Just a normal pitch a lot of these just until I get my timing back. 1-2 count here. Fastball inside. Broken bat. Can Aiden McForshan get there? No, he cannot. And that's going to allow the allow him to advance to first. Stays at second, though. Didn't want to risk it. Lots of speed at second. Lots of speed at first. And this guy's locked in. Uh, this is not who we want at the plate. Miss. We took that. 
with that as well. Let's try the one breaking in. Safe at second. We never. I never, dude. I never get these. I, I don't think it's the arm strength. We just never get these. Runners at second and third now. Swing and a miss. Out number two on the fastball. Way too low. Starting off the slider. And that is ripped in between center and right. That's going to hit off the wall. And two runs will score here. An RBI, two RBI double here for the Mighty Cattle. Putting them up two to one. Yeah, I just don't have the control with Landon right now. His accuracy is low, but I'm usually I'm able to just reel those power pitches in. But I think I have to normal pitch here all the way. One, two, and that one goes foul. Out number three. A meniscus tear from the pitcher. Wow. That is hit, and what a catch from the second baseman. Out number one. Amelia Bobbert now getting back into the lineup after some time off. That is popped up. Second baseman got it. Out number two. Aiden McForsham. 233 on the season. 0-1. Oh, 1-1. One. One, one. Dang it on that one. Out number three. Quick three outs for the Phantoms. Puts them right back on defense. Man, this thing is really... I don't remember it doing this. With Landon. 1-1. One, one. Oh, that's close. Just barely kept that in. 3-2. Full count here. I think it change up. I think it change up. Weekly hit. Raylan McGriddle is there. And the throw is good. Out number one. Alright. Getting a little bit of a rhythm here. Ball one. 1-1. One, 1-2 one. One, here. Try and get him with the fastball high in a way. Got him. Out number 2. 100 miles an hour from Landing Gonzalez. Take that ball 1. Curve ball low. Ball 2. Yeah. Uh, this is another team that just doesn't some of these guys just never swing now oh, it's a little high but we get a strike out of that and I, I disagree but we'll take that got him 98 miles an hour on the fastball out number 3 Landon Gonzalez at the plate now batting 500 on the season see if we can send one over the fence 2-0 that's a good strike 2-1 98 power. Can this one clear the fence in left? Gone. Landon Gonzalez ties it up for the Phantoms. One swing of the bat, 402 feet. Third home run of the season and his third RBI of the season. He scores for himself. One, one. Two one here, locked in still for Jackie. It's too low. Just got tough out though. Foul that off to keep it alive. Check swing, full count. Straight to the second baseman, out number one. Steve Lumber. Power versus left-handed pitchers. We got to use that. A little too high for me. Thought that one would drop. 2 1. It's late. 2 2. 98 power. That's popped up. Can this one drop in foul though for us? Get another chance at it. Left fielder unable to get there. Good. Another swing. 95 power. And the first baseman makes a snag at first. Two outs now for the Phantoms. 
And that one's hit to right, and that's out number three. Lenny Gonzalez ties it up, and he's back on the mound. Strike one. Fastball low. That was that. Same spot. No? Okay. Not feeling that. How about inside? Raylan McGriddle. Good catch. Out number one. Raylan, uh, Raylan McGriddle unable to get there. The throw from Holden and Esvito, not in time from right field. That's one of those tough ones where I don't know if I'm supposed to jump or dive there, because it was just like over her shoulder, so... I think you're supposed to dive, but I, I don't know. I thought it was it was close enough that we just take the risk. 0-2 now. These fastballs low and outside, I've been getting them. Out number two. Not enough speed there at first, but just in case they thought about it, you know, we're thinking. That is ripped to left, and this one will go foul. Oh, one. Weekly hit. Oh, two. A lot of foul balls here. Can you just hit one and play for us so we can finish this out? Thank you. Out number three. I disagree with him as well, but that w we'll take that. I umpire was tired of watching this dude hit it foul. Raylan McGriddle sends one deep to left. Can this one clear the fence as well? No, it's going to be off the wall, though. And Raylan McGriddle is safe at second. Just a little short there of a home run for Raylan McGriddle. We haven't gotten a lot of those in our user game, so happy to see one go deep. Weekly hit, oh, out number one. Not enough speed for Raylan. She was kind of in that spot when the pitcher picked it up that even if I went back, I think she would have been out at second. Brunson Knight here. Check swing, 2-1. I'm going to steal here. Safe at second. And they walk him. All right, so that was a waste of a steal risk. Amelia Bobbert. Runners on first and second. That's ball one. That is slapped into left field. And that's going to allow Holden. It was that like Grayson Fry to score. I was trying to decide which one that was. And the Phantoms are up three to two. 0-1 oh, now for Aiden. Break. One two count. Wow. All right, that's fair enough. We got like two calls that were on uh, when we were on defense. We'll take that. Wild pitch there. 1-0 oh, count for Landon Gonzalez, who homered in his last appearance. 89 power, deep to center, and I don't think that has just enough. No. Out number three. It's unfortunate. With 99 power, I think it goes. He's neutral. He hit a home run, and he's been playing well. Can't get Mojo up for him? Aiden McForsham, good catch. Out number one. Strike one. That's outside. Strike two. Let's go back to that change up. A little high. Got him. Out number two. He's locked in now. There you go. Steve Lumber, out number three. And we're on to the top of the fifth here. Jackie Slam. I don't think she has a hit so far today. That's inside. Does it tell you? No, it does not tell you. Okay. 2-1. 3-1. 
Oh, that... Mm, I, I think that was a ball. Full count now for Jackie. Got to swing at that one. Not enough speed. Out number one. Steve Lumber's locked in. Got to get a homer from him. 1-0. 68 power, and that was not it. 1-1. 2-1. Low for ball three. 83 power, just a little too much under it though. That's gonna be popped up to center. Center fielder's got it. Out number two. Holden Ace Vito. Strike one. One one. Strike two. One two now. Foul. Well. 2-2. Two, two. That is hit to left, and the left fielder is right there. Out number three. Leonard Calderon. Not much of a batter. Let's see what he's got. Check two. Got him. Out number one. And we're keeping Landon Gonzalez locked in. Strike one. Strike two. Weekly hit on the ground. Can Aiden get there and make the throw in time? No. Not enough speed there at third. And just enough speed from the base runner. Oh, two. Just in case. Apparently he wasn't thinking about it. I beg to differ, but can we get this double play here? Bronson Knight, one. Ah, oh, safe at first. We get the force at second. Okay. Just in case. You know how these high speed players are on first. Yeah, he was thinking about it. One, one. Fouled off, 1-2. Not letting him steal on me, man. Like, I... I knew it. <laughs> Jackie Slam is there. Out number three. Like, I don't know. I literally... I went for the pitch out every single pitch, and they still went for the steal. 94 power popped up to right, and I think the right fielder's got it. Yep, out number one. Grayson Fry here in the top of the sixth, up by one. And that's going to go just past the shortstop here. Safe at first. Grayson Fry has been doing well at the plate. Fouled off. Yeah, worried about the speed now. Pitcher's pretty tired here. 2-1. And that's going to go over the first baseman. And into right field, allowing Grayson Fry to be safe at third. When I was at the corners here for Amelia Bobbert. Bad pitch and bad throw. We're still safe. 0-1. That is hit deep to center, but that's not going to be enough to clear the fence, but it is going to be enough for Grayson Fry to tag from third here. So the Phantoms are up 4-2 to two now. Amelia Bobbert delivers. Oh, shouldn't have got on that one. Out number three. Phantom's up by two, and it's looking like it's time. It's time to pull Landon here. Do you know Red Ears rattled? Wow. And Nail started last game, so it's going to be up to Tater Fry. Yeah, let's let's bring in, let's get one more batter out of him just to keep the stamina up. Bronson Knight, out number one. Yeah, so I'm not going to risk it anymore. Tater Fry, get him in here. 
Weekly hit, Aim McForsham is there. Out number two. Starting off with a curve. Strike one. A little high. That's popped up. Bronson Knight running up says he's got it. Out number three. Phantom's doing well here on defense. Other than that first inning, Tater Fry rips one into between left and center. And he's got a double. Our pitchers are delivering for us on offense today. Honestly, they're just producing just about as well as all these other skill players. Ooh, that was... I should have committed. 1-1. One, one. Tater Fry will advance to third, but Jackie Slam is out. Should try and send it deep. 1-1. One, 2-1. One. One. Three one, and they walk him. I'm okay with that, especially with the RBI dud trait. Holding Ace Vito now. Safe. I'm gonna power swing with Holden here. See if we can send it. They're really worried about the steal, and they should be, because I was going to. Oh, and an absolute hack at the plate. But we're okay. It's 2-1. And Steve steals. 82 power to right, and that's going to be enough for Steve Lumber and Tater Fry to steal here. And Holden Ace Vito retreats back to first, making it 6-2 Phantoms. Braylon McGriddle locked in. And I tell you, I hate these pitchers. 2-0. I can never get the timing down. 3 0. 97 power. That one felt alright. Runners on first and second now. With one out on the board in the top of the seven. Grayson Fry at the plate. 1 0. 2 0. 3 0. It's going to go right back to the second baseman, and we're able to get back to the plates. Bronson Knight's locked in. Yeah, okay. 1-1. One, one. Shouldn't have swung at that. 1-2 two with two outs. K-Dud. That's going to be hit. And that's going to allow a runner to score, rounding third here. And it is 7-2 Phantoms. K-Dud, and he had zero junk on that. So we're just going to run it up on him. And here we go again. Runner rounds third. Can he be safe at home? Raylan McGriddle is safe. 8-2 Phantoms now. The lead is extended to 6 here in the top of the 7th. That was kind of an accident. Low, ball one. One, one. One, two. Two, two. Ah, uh, that's tough. That was, I thought that would be low. Four runs scored in the top of the seventh. Phantoms up by six. One one. Hit on the ground. Rayla McGriddle is there. Throw is good. Out number one. It's high for ball one. It's gonna be low here. Take that. Miss the curve. Coming back to this curve. Got to hit it better than that. Weekly hit. Ah, uh, Steve Lumber can't get there. Another curve. Let's try that. Full count. 
two-seamer away. Now it's going to be weekly hit. Raylan McGriddle is there. Out number two. Leonard Calderon, the catcher. A little bit of a miss. That's not hit well enough. Grayson Fry can get there. And that's out number three. On to the eighth inning. The mighty cattle have struggled to score since the first. Tater Fry here. 78 power popped up. That's out number one. Jackie Slams locked in. Oh, I gotta commit there. 1-1. One, one. It's fouled off. Man. It's just another game where I just can't hit with Jackie Slam for some reason. And it's really not her fault. Her ratings are amazing. Going straight to the second, the shortstop, out number two. Steve Lumber's 0 for 2, but he's been walked twice. 1-0. One, 1-1. Oh. One, one. One, 2 82 power on the ground, and that is safe at first. Goes just past the glove of the second baseman. Holding Ace Vito now. That's going to go past the second baseman again. Runner is at first and second. Raylan and McGriddle. Um, oh, 01. She has the power to go yard. It's 1 1 here. 2 1. 99 power on the ground. And we have Steve Lumber round third. And uh, not the catcher is unable to make that catch on the ground there. Steve Lumber is safe at home, making it 9 to 2. The lead is extended to seven. Two one. And we steal third. Forget I go for it. Why not? Up seven. That one is sent deep to left center, but that's out number three. That one felt good coming off the bat, though, I gotta tell you. It had a nice sound to it, felt good. But it was unable to go far enough. Wild pitch there, 1-1. One, 2-1. One. One. Raylan McGriddle is there for this one again. Out number one. Five outs to go here to close things out for the Phantoms. Strike one. Strike two. Steve Lumber unable to get to that one in time. Runner will be safe at first. And it's looking like it's time to bring on the next pitcher. Strike two, one, two count. A little low here on the curve. Taken. That is hit. Raylan McGriddle is there, though. And we get the out at first. Runner will advance to second, though, from first. That's time. Nicholas Butterman. Get him in there. Starting off the curve. Raylan McGriddle. Oh, just past her glove. Runner will round third. Oh, and another little bit of an error there from our catcher. So the Mighty Cattle eat into the lead a little bit, making it 9-3, to three, a six-run lead now. It's really unfortunate. You have the slider, okay. Let's try the slider again. That is hit. Bronson Knight is there. Out number three. On to the ninth inning. Phantoms lead by six. Bronson Knight, two for three on the day. Two singles, a walk, and an RBI. 
Ooh, and that's a new pitcher too. Safe at first. And they're gonna leave her in. She's a little tense, a little banged up. I guess it didn't hurt that bad because she's out there with very little ratings change. That one is ripped to right field. Runners on first and second now for the Phantoms with zero outs. Aiden McForsham at the plate. And we don't have anyone to play third, do we? Third. Okay, you can play third. Um, well, no, nah, so okay. What I wanted to do was get Wix did a chance here. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Well, it might happen here. Base is loaded now. Pitcher at the plate. Problem is... Yeah, well, let's bring in Wixit did. Why not? Get our left fielder in here. Well, yeah. Let's get him in here. That's cool. 333 on the season. 2-0. Oh, that was one for us. 2-1. That's popped up. And now it's out number one. Well, he got a chance. You saw him. There you go. Our newest player. That is hit to center from Jackie Slam. And Jackie Slam delivers with a single. An RBI single. And the Phantoms go up by seven again. Ten to three. Steve Lumber with RBI dead against a rattled closer. 1-0. Infield playing in. I'm power swinging every single pitch. That was a hack. 2 on. 88 power deep to right center. Calling that. And that is okay. That's off the wall. I thought that hit the top of the wall, but it came back. I wish I could see a replay on that one because I, I thought that just barely cleared the fence. I'll have to, there's no replay on that, right? Yeah, okay. I'll have, to, I'll have to look at that one again. You guys can rewind. I'll have to go back and editing because I thought that one was gone. But either way, it is 12 to 3 Phantoms. And Holden Speedo is walked. Base is loaded again. They're bringing in a starter here to close things out because the rattled, the rattled uh, closer can't do it. 1-1. One, one. Base is loaded with one out. 2-1. Two, 2-2. Two. Full count. 78 power, and that just well, looks like it went right between Jackie Slam's legs. That She got a little lucky, if you ask me. That one could drop in, and it does. Rayleigh McGriddle with an RBI single, making it 13-3 Phantoms. Up by 10 now. Oh, just end the bleeding, mighty cattle. That's hit deep to right. Run our third, can tag here. Out number two. And that's going to be 14 to 3, Phantoms. I'm going to keep scoring as long as I can. I mean, you just hate to see a team get absolutely bullied like this. 14 to 3, 1 1 count. Wow, that was bad. 2-2, two, two, two outs. Popped up. Catcher's got it. And the bleeding ends. Phantoms enter the bottom of the third. Wait, why, why is it showing... Why is it showing the other team? Oh, I hit L2 accidentally? Maybe. Uh, let's see. Bring it on the closer. So he's got... Fastballs and change-ups. You like it. And to be honest, I don't think he's going to make it all three outs here with his stamina. It's already at half. I know his stamina is really low. And that one is ripped past Raylan McGriddle. Safe at first. Start off with some off-speeds here. Strike one. Another off speed. Strike two, give him the fastball now. Off the glove, can Rayla McGriddle get there in time? She can, out number one. 
Runner is safe at second, though. Yeah, I don't think he... He's not going to have enough stamina to get through all three outs here. Unless we get a double here somehow. Strike two. Weekly hit. Ah, uh, not enough to get that double. Out number two. If I had a little bit more speed at third there, we get it. Strike one. I'm going to see him through this batter. Why not? Okay, that's why. Jackie Slam running back. And it is 14 to 4. Phantom score once. But we just need one out to close things out here. So we're going to go ahead and bring on. Oh, wow. Bring on a pinch hitter. Who's this pinch hitter? Let's see. We can bring on. Neptitude. Did I make him tense? Kind of lame. He's got no stamina. Honestly, just. Let's go with it. Let's see what happens. 1-0. One, 1-1. One. Oh, that one got away from me. So you can get him with the... Yeah, I know he's tired. Exit. 2-2. Two, two. Whiffer. Going low with it. Same spot. Bronson Knight stops it, but unable to get the out here. So yeah, we're just going to bring in one of these relief pitchers, and hopefully he can just close things out. You know, Reddy is rattled, but, I mean, you're just going to have to deliver for us, buddy. Oh, one. That is hit deep and high, but not far enough. Out number three. So like I said, just got to deliver for us. Phantoms win. 14 to 4. We had 20 hits and just all around an explosion of offense here. Lit things up in the second half of the game. Felt like everybody scored. Everybody played well. Happy about that. Landon Gonzalez is going to get the win here in 5.1's innings played. Gave out two earned runs in off of five hits. MVP is going to be Steve Lumber. He went two for four on the day with a double two RBIs, four runs, and two stolen bases. Braylon McGriddle, second place. She quietly had a very good day. Four for five, a double, three RBIs, and a run. Holden Ace Vito in third place here. Three for five, two RBIs, a run, and a stolen base. That's going to do it for this episode. Next time, we're going to be taking on the Scroungers in Week 16. I think this is another team that we have not played yet so far in this series. In this series. So we're going to be taking them on with Chill Hangnail in Week 16. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed this episode. Peace.